going on world? Today is December 28th. I will be leaving shortly to go and pick up my son. I'm very excited and I'm a little nervous. To give you a little bit of background. Um, my son, Sebastian, seven years old. His father just did six years in prison. Over the time that I was gone, I got to see him eight times. Prison is a little messed up. You know, if you're from upstate New York and you get locked up, they put you in prisons all the way down at the bottom. And if you're from the city area, way up, all the way up at the Canadian border, and you have people that care about you, it's not just you locked up, it's them too. And unfortunately, my little boy has had to suffer poor and bad decisions that I've made. I don't know what we're gonna do this week. I have no plans. I'm new to this. I'm grateful that I'm gonna be here at my mother's house. That'll break the ice in terms of, you know, familiarity between me and him. He's definitely aware of me. He knows I'm his father, but like, you know, it's not really like daddy, daddy yet, you know? But it's my fault, And uh, but we're gonna figure it out. And I know that as long as I do what I need to do, then this will just be like a blip. I just remember daddy coming home being fucking awesome. What's going on out there, world? Me and my brother, Redrin. We are on our way to go pick up young boss, the prince. Light little snot, I don't know if you can really tell. My poor son, man, he's about to come up here, spend all this time with daddy, and it's freezing. Mm. You know what you want to do this week? It's crazy, Bash. It's like uh, we spent zero time together, and it's like so much of light. What do you think that is? There's a word for it. You know what it's called? Genetics. What is genetics? <laughs> you scared about that race? You're not ready for that now. So you just got here. Get comfortable. You know what I mean? All that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't ready for the smoke. What are you doing today? We're going to hook up the PS4. Does daddy know what he's doing? No. He, he does know how to play on a PS4, but I know more than him, and I never play on PS4 in my life. Why don't you play on PS4s? I play on Xbox. Uh. Okay, guys, I'm done. I know it was really quick, but um. And now you're quiet. <laughs> now you know what I'm going on. Ah, it's your first Yankee hat? No. It's your Jets oh, hat. Talking, Figure it out. What's going on, world? Me here uh, doing some <coughs> some light web work for Dirty Iron. Second day at work, second day on the job. Trying to get my little web design skills up. Trying to find my way. Baby boy will be back. He went with his grandparents. He's up there, I felt bad for him because he looked like he was bored out of his mind. Today would be my last day with him. Still no race yet. He don't want to smoke with the old man. I've been in the gym in a couple days because I was with the kid. That's its own workout, but you know how that goes. Sebastian, if you don't want to race, just say you don't want to race. You don't want to race me? He doesn't want to race me. He knows better. He's mm. fast. I'm the fastest. Okay, so 
It's uh, it's 2021. I haven't seen you guys. First vlog of 2021. I needed a little bit of a break. Alex still at this moment right now is on her way back. Literally been gone for two weeks at her parents' house. Her mom is doing better. She's gonna have to go back. This is just the beginning. You know, there's many other surgeries that are gonna have to be had. There's a lot. I kind of just took that time to just decompress, I guess. You know, I don't know how much decompression I did, but well, I have a stack. I mean, I didn't know what to do. The drone was like, dumping stuff out of my head. And I was really just trying to break my mind. The way that I approach everything comes repetitive. Like, I'll draw something and then not take the time to paint it, but I don't want to put forth the effort to paint that. I don't want to take the couple of hours. It's kind of crippling because if you want to build a collection of work, you know, even the most simple painting could be something that someone finds worth millions of dollars one day. So it's like this mental trap as well as having the vlog you know takes a lot of energy out of my time and my day and everything so just basically you know just trying to focus on painting really just warm up be sketching but large things I've just wanted to do like things I just wanted to make like the bear stacks like I've just like the way that shit looks so just you know taking the time to do that shit because I'm very consciously trying not to do this other shit that other shit the world and the internet. This is the internet. You're on the internet. This is technically social media. I'm not gonna sit here and be another fucking talking head. Another person that is just going to tell you how things should be. You know, things are fucked up and this, that. Like, you know all the things that you know or you think that you know. Me personally, I'm smart enough to know I don't have to care. That is not to say I do not have an opinion about racism, inequality, macro problems that our world faces. Everybody is just running in droves to let everybody know how they feel, how they feel. Whatever. Let people know how you feel. That's your prerogative. It's not getting us anywhere. These tweets are not going to fucking change it. The senators are just as irresponsible because they're tweeting back and forth and it's, it's fueling this fire. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? Essentially what I'm saying is I'm not playing the game because there is no belief that I have beyond that shit is never going to actually change. I believe that this is to a degree theater. It is us versus them and until we have the same idea as a collective group of people, we will get nowhere. But that's not what I'm here to talk to you about. Maybe we're inching closer to a, a, a unison movement. Maybe we're not. I don't have a problem with making the senators be afraid for what they're doing. It just needs to be for the right reason. And it needs to be everybody. It can't just be like one group. I'm not saying that that's the answer to all of our problems either. My mantra has been like, yeah, fuck these motherfuckers. But anyway, not what we're here to talk about. The algorithm is a tricky bit. You're just being fed stuff and you're trying to filter through it because you're looking for that next thing that is gonna make you happy that little dopamine that serotonin hit then you get annoyed with the things that don't make you happy you see five or six posts that don't make you happy and then you gotta like get it off you so you make a post and then now you've spread your annoyance on to the next person who happens to see that or the next however many people all of this is just a symptom of frustration and I understand but I personally cannot I've definitely like started to ease off of just social media as I'm still I'm still on it but I'm not not like I was it's like on Christmas like Christmas Day on Twitter and expecting people not to be tweeting about Christmas is a fool's game. It's Christmas. Of course people are going to be tweeting about Christmas. Probably shouldn't be online that day. Can't expect the entire world to be catered to what you feel like hearing about just because that's how like Netflix works. A lot of people are hitting you with facts every day. Facts, facts, facts. Facts, 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 facts. There are horrors in the world. There are terrible, awful injustices and they need to be dealt with. Again, you're not going to deal with them by not building yourself up, working on your own shit. And for me personally, I could sit there and I can dismantle people online all day long over all kinds of points and it can make me feel good that I'm smarter than somebody I'm arguing with could also, you know, translate to me being dumb because I'm wasting my fucking time. Obviously, the fucking memes are hilarious and obviously I scroll through and see the memes and I'm not saying like, I'm holier than thou. I will not be ingesting any of this content that is there. I'll be a cloud in the sky. Honestly, the more that I scroll through my phone, the less I'm getting from it. Twitter is turning into the versions of Facebook and it's all just kind of it's just crazy out there dog I'm constantly taking my phone and coming away thinking ah oh, people are so fucking stupid people aren't stupid some people tweet dumb shit and some people are morons there's a lot of great in the world and it's like if you're looking for the shitty stuff it's easy to fucking find man good stuff especially the good stuff that's gonna like help you reach your goals 
It takes a lot of fucking work. You gotta let the world pass you by to get shit done. You have to sit there and do it. The ideas aren't enough. You have all the capabilities in the world and the ideas, but not executed, and then you have nothing. You die with a brain full of fucking ideas, which is not what I want to do. Zombies are just a metaphor. Really, the idea is not to turn into a zombie. Take bite literal if you want. You're letting these zombie mentalities rub off on you, and then you become a zombie, or you spread zombie shit, and now everybody's just a zombie. You sound like the cranberries in the 90s. Zombie. You wanna be a yoga master? Do some more fucking yoga. You wanna learn how to draw? Do that. Don't know what you wanna do. Learn a new, that's like fucking pure freedom. Learn a new thing. Do some shit that's really gonna frustrate you, but in the end, is building your character and building your skill sets and something. I swear to God, it's better than proving to Bob1684987 that he's a racist piece of shit. Cause he's gonna fucking leave the internet a racist piece of shit. You're not gonna change his mind. I'm not to say that conversation won't change people's minds, but there is a time and a place, and I think deep down everybody knows it but we like to peacock our opinion for everybody else because we want everybody to know how we feel whatever the current topic is while i understand it i still think it's a waste of time to a degree not saying you got to be anti-social balance life's life if everything in life is a gamble then i'm gonna gamble towards i need to work on my own shit like all week i've been looking for new screen printers uh new people who make new products for me just because manufacturers are just so backed up with new york and california restrictions there's people getting laid off like there's so much that's been backed up I'm trying to adapt to my own shit get stuff out i just need to create work read books instead of reading tweets cut the bullshit just find out what's serving me and what's not i've really been enjoying tracking my food weightlifting we have a pull-up bar coming which is how i'm gonna hook up the pulley system come back to on my bike like 40 to 60 miles a week so it's been really good i've you know all things considered things have been okay and i've even figured out how to make pie i made this pie alex well i told her i would make pie for us before she got home but i thought she's gonna be home tonight she's definitely not making it tonight the question is is the pie gonna make it tonight actually yes because if i eat all that i'll go way over for sure but it's only like 200 calories a slice 30 Six grams of carbohydrate, five grams of fat, two grams of protein. Something simple. That's it. I'm out until the morning. I'll check back in. Peace. Nine o'clock. And the pie has survived. I only had one more slice yesterday. You making out with that thing? Huh? Alex should be back pretty soon. I um, am going to be cleaning for most of the day, which is what I've been doing most of the morning. Day of editing and getting back to... Uh, work. Finally got shipping for the next drop, so that's fantastic. Fucking finally. So, Lover Money drop is on the motherfucking way. And I've eaten two slices of pie this morning and so far. We gotta at least save like a slice for Alex. See what happens. Sunbathing. What are you doing? You sunbathing? In the window? This looks like a movie poster for you. Like a psychological thriller. Uh, Hello. Look who's home. Hi. Look who's home. Look, she's not dead. Do I smell like another puppy? I know, I smell like puppy Jack. Puppy Jack, hi, Hey. I got a Christmas present for you. Hmm. There's 15 grams. Colorado stash. I'm gonna take a dab right now. Mommy's home! You mm -hmm. thought she was never coming home. I'm so interested to see if that bunny attacks you or not. Ooh, a potato pie. I made it last night. Nice. It Thank survived. You. I didn't know if it was going to make it. It's funny because I thought you were having me look in the kitchen to see how you had cleaned it. And I was like. <laughs> yeah, no, not really. Nope, that's not what you All right. She's back. I made it alive. The adventure continues.